What's going on guys? Welcome back to another great day. Today we have a brand new 2021 Ford Bronco Wild Track with the Sasquatch package. To be mounting these uh, ditch lights from Lost Fit. These are their floodlights that I went with. Now they do make a fog, a spot, and a driving. Now, as far as accessories, what you get, you get the hardware to mount the brackets to the lights and the lights to the vehicle. Uh, you do also get two pigtails to wire them from the back. And separately, they sell this harness here that is basically an all-in-one harness that basically plugs into the back of the connectors of the fog lights. You run your power, you run your ground, and then you run your switch to the inside of the car. And that is it, basically. It's plug and play. It's really simple. It's already relayed and ready to go. Uh, I do recommend getting this regardless if you have the uplifter switches in the vehicle. And I'm gonna show you here in a little bit why I decide to go ahead and get that harness in it. All right, so if you guys are gonna be utilizing the uplifter switches inside your Ford Bronco, I'm gonna show you guys how to figure out where uh, the wires are ran and which ones they are for every single one of these switches here. Uh, if you look up here, you have pre-wired auxiliary switches for w lights, winches, whatever. And these wires actually run to the front of the engine compartment right here by uh, the driver's side. So these wires here are those auxiliary switches. So to find out which one, one through six, are these wires, you can go into the inside of your Ford Bronco on the dash and click on the features, click on owner's manual, go to categories, instrument panel and interior, go all the way down, auxiliary switches if equipped, and we are going to be going to identify the auxiliary switch wiring. And there you go. Here it'll tell you all the auxiliaries that are up here and what the colors are of the wires up there by the engine compartment that we just showed you and the amperage of the circuit. So I'm gonna go ahead and use auxiliary one for the ditch lights and it's gonna be a 30 amp circuit. So we gotta look for the yellow wire. We're gonna look for the yellow wire. Here it is. I'm gonna cut off the end because the ends are already taped off right here. I'm gonna cut off the end. All right, so here I got my meter and I'm gonna go ahead and ground the ground side to the battery and the positive side if it touches Anything with 12 volts, it'll show me 12 volts there. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys here with the battery. So if I touch the battery, got 12 volts. If I touch the wire here, it's gonna show zero because it's not on. But once I flip the switch on, switch number one, grab our lead, touch the wire, we got 12 volts. So that is auxiliary switch number one. So that wiring diagram is correct. Obviously guys, you don't need a volt meter to do this, but I just wanted to show you guys how simple Ford made it for you guys to modify your Ford Broncos. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to mount the actual uh, lights to the car. I'm gonna mount the brackets first. So I'm gonna grab the brackets and we're gonna come over here and we are going to mount them on the outside. So we're gonna go ahead and take this off. This is actually a Torx 25. The inside one is a Torx 30. So if you decide to use the inside one, but one thing if you do decide to put them on the inside, you're gonna eliminate your antenna because these dish lights are actually pretty big. Regardless on whether they're big or small, they're gonna eliminate the antenna. Uh, but if you do decide to mount it on the outside, uh, you will still be able to utilize your antenna. That's one thing you wanna keep in mind. All right, so I'm also removing the inside bolt so I can access this panel and pop it up and run the wire for the light underneath this panel here. Just pop this up, like so. All right, so once we run the wire behind the cow here and around the antenna base here, it'll come out through the bottom here and we'll be able to run this basically uh, through here and along the cow to get powered over there on our wiring but for now we can just leave this here and we can go ahead and mount up our bracket okay so before you fully tighten down the screw here i do want to mention you want to go ahead and check and mount the light here to see how much slack you have left over in the back if you have too much this is the best time to go ahead and pull on the wire before you tighten it down and we can't pull it anymore so right now i'm going to go ahead and pull it and kind of eliminate some of the excess wire in the back I don't want too much back there and we can go ahead and once you have enough of the wire and we have plenty of room you can go ahead and secure our bolts down 
All right guys, got the driver side mounted up just like the passenger side. Got it mounted and just tied down nice and snug, not too tight yet, because I still need to adjust these up tonight. Ran the wire underneath the cowl and coming out the bottom right here, ready to be wired. So now we need to come over here and get our pigtails that came in the kit and install these onto the connectors and wire them in. Problem is, on the passenger side, as you can tell, we're gonna need some extra wire. But, like I told you before, if you decide to go ahead and pick up this harness here, even though you still have the uplifter switches, this and here, we can plug this side, one of these to the passenger side, and run it, look at this, all the way across, and it's already insulated and wired for us. All we gotta do is just basically plug that into the passenger side, run it along as far as we need, and then cut it. We can utilize, actually, the one of these that come in the kit, on the driver's side because it's long enough for it to reach our our power source Let's plug this in all right guys we got the wire tucked and ran underneath the cow from the passenger side coming out right here i've already made a little excess a little bit of extra room for the wires to be connected together so this is the passenger side and the driver's side so we're going to connect both of the red wires together here and then we'll connect those to the yellow wire here and then the blacks will connect together using this little uh, eye outlet here and then we'll tie those onto here on a ground. Got our ground and our power set to the harness. Now let's go ahead and flip the switch and see if these lights work. All right, so like I said, I did leave them on a little loose here so I can go ahead and adjust them tonight uh, when it gets nice and dark and put the beam where I want it. But they are working fine on the switch, which is great. And go ahead and close everything up and get it ready for tonight. All right, guys, we came out to a nice dark area out here. It's really dark out here. There's no street lighting at all, and it's just a full moon. And right now, I just basically just got the parking lights on on the Bronco. And let's go ahead and flip the switch and see what these look like at night and see what they do. Ready? Let's go ahead and hit the switch. Boom. Oh, yeah. That's really good. So basically I have them aimed, like I said, they're ditch lights, so uh, in front down to the side of the vehicle. So whenever you're driving, you can see down uh, onto the side. Uh, I don't have them facing out too far out that way because uh, definitely these are made for uh, the side of the vehicle here. So you can see where you're going along the path when it's snowing or there's a real big dust storm. I do want to mention guys that these lights, you can get these with a the clear lens as well. And you can also switch it up to an amber lens so you can get either one. Uh, but yeah, these look really good. Uh, there is a promo code on these lights. If you decide to get them through Lost Fit, Trailblazer Films 10, you get 10% off on any of the purchases you go on the website. Uh, so yeah, go check them out. If you guys find the video helpful, please give me a like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next one.